shout out goes out to our current channel members. If you were interested in picking up a channel membership for as little as $1.99 a month, head over to my channel profile and hit the join button to view all of the available perks. Thanks. Hello there everyone and welcome back to another video here today. In this one I wanted to take a look at and discuss yet another aspect of episode 13 of Ninjago Crystallized that I am extremely satisfied with. Now in my opinion, bringing Harumi back in Crystallized was a very massive risk, as they could have easily messed up her character that had been just so great in the past. However, episode 13 of Crystallized has eliminated one of my biggest fears I initially had when it came to Harumi, that being her death. Episode 13 perfectly showed us that, well, she did in fact actually die. She did fully die after being on top of a falling building and was actually crushed but not long after the Overlord managed to revive her. So if you think about it, this is a very similar situation as to what happened with Dr. Julian way back in the early days of Ninjago, way back in Season 2, if you guys remember that. He died after he flipped Zane's memory switch, but then Samukai walked in and used a reviving potion on Dr. Julian, and he was brought back to life seconds later. This is a very similar situation here, just with the Overlord using his energy somehow to bring Harumi back to life, probably moments after her death, which I think is ultimately better than nothing. I would have probably preferred her to just stay dead as it is still, even with this new backstory. However, this is absolutely miles better when you consider the fact that this could have been Harumi just staying being alive, and she may have actually just been alive this whole time, because that would have just been so ridiculously unrealistic. And yes, I'm aware I'm talking about unrealistic in a show about plastic Lego ninjas fighting evil, However, I think it would have just been on different new levels of unrealisticness and it just would have not been good at all. And so I'm really glad and I do appreciate the writers going down this direction with Harumi's death. And, you know, having her die but then be brought back minutes later is honestly better than her just staying alive this entire time. That would have been the lazy, cheap and just kind of weird way out of all of this. And so I'm really, really glad that she did die but then was just brought back to life by the Overlord not long after she, well, died. I think that's a much better way to go down. And while they could have easily just brought her back in terms of the fact that she may have just not even died in the first place, I'm glad that they decided to have her die but then have her being brought back to life after. So with all of this being said, that does just about do it for this one here guys i just wanted to kind of explain to you why i think this is so good and i'm really happy with this and the direction the writers went through it solved a lot of my worries and yeah i'm just really happy about this with all of this being said though if you did enjoy today's video feel free to of course drop a like on it subscribe to the channel for more very similar to this and hit that notification bell so you guys can be the first to watch my new content as soon as it does come out every single day with all of this being said i'll see you all tomorrow for my next one goodbye